In the driveway. Mm -hmm. Fire the engineer. No. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. Good morning. I need to move up. Good morning. Good morning. We in the driveway. Not for real. We in the room, but we in the driveway. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. If you would, go ahead and share this with your family, your Facebook family, your friends, and stop. I don't know why I'm wearing my hands every week. We're getting ready to do this. The season is changing. Somebody needs to know the season is changing. Hey. Good morning, y'all. I made it this morning. It's been a bit rough. Nevertheless, God is faithful. Good morning, good morning. Yes, yes. I tell you what, it's been, today has been a month since my back surgery. And, um... And let's just say it's been a journey. But hey, I'm a warrior. I'm a champion. I'm up for the fight. I've made a lot of progress, but um, because of the nerves that they had to deal with and, and, and open up, now we're at a place where it's the nerves are getting their, uh, their feeling back or what they call waking up. So it's just sometimes like electricity just shoots through me. So... I'm like, Lord, we're gonna do this. But I love the fact that he just gave me the season is changing because I'm telling you, even my back gonna just flow right into that. Okay, we're gonna just wait one, about another 30 seconds to see who all wants to join us this morning. But nevertheless, we're moving forward full throttle. Amen, amen. So the season is changing is what I'm going to talk about this morning. I'm not going to hold you long. I'm going to say what does say of the Lord, and we're going to go about the rest of our day. But before I get started, Lord God, I just thank you for this opportunity that you have given me to come week after week, God, through the good, the bad, and the ugly, to just encourage your people. Lord, somebody on here needs a specific word at this specific moment, and Lord, you're going to speak to their heart. And to help them know they're right in the right place where they need to be doing what they need to be doing because their season is changing. And when the season change, it's time to change with the season. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. The season is changing. As you know, everybody knows, in the natural, the season is changing. Amen. Uh, the, we're getting ready to head into fall, even though it's still hot, even though right here it's really really hot uh but nevertheless you can see some signs that the season is changing uh i know in the front yard i have the big tree with the pine cones and you know those pine needles they're falling they're already falling down and you know once they fall they turn brown and we know that oh i love that lord i just said fall and brown and we know in the fall catch that things turn brown so we are preparing in the natural for the fall how many know school is getting ready to start? That's an indication of the fall. So we're going, we're getting all the t-shirts and the tank tops kind of out the way. We're pulling out the uniforms, getting new clothes, getting everything. How many know we have to prepare for the next season? You cannot. I have to take my kids. I have five kids. That My baby is five today. Y'all, later on, I want y'all to help me show him some love. He is going to be going to kindergarten, Lord Jesus. But nevertheless, how many know my 12-year-old is growing? I cannot, we have a, a thing of school clothes from last year that are really nice, you know, not stained and he can use. But how many know I got to go in there and let him try them on? He's gained a little weight this summer. He's grown a little bit this summer. I can't send him, please catch this in the spirit, to school in the same clothes that he wore last year if they don't fit. Pause right there. I'm going to pump my brakes. Somebody need to hear that. You cannot. Go into this new season with the thing that you don't fit anymore. With the thing that doesn't fit you anymore. The Lord gave me things all day, yesterday, all day. And I'm, when I tell y'all I spent the day just like, Lord, I want to give him something fresh tomorrow. And he reminded me that it is time for me to recap a few things that I've already talked about. Because somebody is on the brink of going into the next season, but they have not decluttered. They have not emptied the baggage. They have not severed the relationship. And I know I've talked about this several times. 
but you don't want to go. You can't go. Okay, newsflash. You cannot go into the next season with the things of the last season. What's going to happen is you're going to cross over, think you're in the next season, but find out you just on a new fork in the wilderness. Is anybody ready to be out of the wilderness? Can I get some hearts, some, some, some thumbs up, some something on that? Is anybody truly ready to get out of the wilderness? See, one thing about the wilderness, unless you really know the forest, y'all, I'm going somewhere. Stay with me. You may think you're coming out of the forest and realize you just took another turn and going back in a circle. That thing is the same in the spirit. Hear me when I say this is a very crucial and critical time. I'm telling you, if you are indeed ready to come out of this wilderness, you're going to have to do something different. You're going to have to do something radical. You're going to have to do something you never thought you would have to do. You're going to have to do something that you never thought possible in order to get out of the wilderness. You are going to repeat the same cycle over again if you don't stand square with that person in the mirror and decide what are you willing to do? What are you willing to let go? Um, don't take it here again. Said it last week and the week before because God wants you to get it. Who are you willing to let go? Now, I don't know about you, but I'm one of those loyal people. And when somebody loyal to me, I have a problem letting go. But I found out a little secret. If you talk to the Lord about it and you say, Lord, okay, I know me. I know me. I'm going to say I'm going to let go and I find myself going back. But God, I ask you, I give you permission. I invite you to eliminate everybody, everything that is not supposed to be with me in this new season that's coming my way. God, I ask that you remove them. Nothing dramatic, nothing detrimental, not on bad terms, Lord God, but they're not a part of this new season season that I'm going in. So please remove them. Now let me tell you about me. It's just me. I asked God to do that and somebody that was dear to me separated themselves. Now maybe it's just me because I'm, you know, I'm going to keep it real because I'm just a hot mess that the Lord just keep working on. I had the nerve to ask God to remove this person out of my life and because I didn't make the first step to Walk, step away from them, I had the nerve to get an attitude. Oh, I know they didn't just call themselves separating from me. Now, this just me, okay, because I ain't that holy and I ain't that deep. And the Lord said, now you told me to remove them. So I'm going to tell y'all, don't be like me. God, when you remove them, it don't matter how it happened. You got to give them a, 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 a right now, but anyhow, praise. Because I'm telling you, some of you are doing things and people think you crazy. When I started this in the driveway, hashtag in the driveway, the Lord gave me that little jingle that I almost gave up on. I thought it was, at first I was so excited about it and then I let my enemy within. I ain't even going to blame that on the devil. I let the enemy within tell me how dumb that was. Now this was a blessing and a gift from God, but I let the enemy tell me how dumb the, the idea, the enemy within me now, I'm taking responsibility responsibility within me tell me that what the God given idea the God given idea that is breaking chains the God given idea that is helping people to know who they are in Christ the God given idea that is helping me to come out of who I used to be and thought I'll never be able to walk away from but I let me talk me out of the God given idea that he gave me somebody catch this thing this morning I said this stupid, it's dumb, I'm not doing it, forget it. And my God sister, bless her heart, Carrie Lynn Andrews, called me one day, as she does so much, out of the blue, in the driveway, hey, I'm like, why are you singing that? And in that moment, the Lord said, girl, I'm not going to let you give up on what you asked me to do. I'm not going to let you give up on what's going to bless people that may not go to church, that may not want to hear it from anybody else except you. How in the world would somebody want to hear it from me? Because you're going to be honest. You're going to be open. You're going to be real. You're going to let them know when you fall. You're going to let them know when you're messed up. You're going to let them know, and they'll know that, oh, my God, if this happening for her, Oh my, I'm okay. How many of y'all here thought maybe you weren't okay? Thought maybe it wasn't going to happen, but all the while, God is getting ready to bless your socks off. Somebody stay with me this morning. Y'all talk to me a little bit now. 
Because I'm telling you, I declare and decree. Some of y'all going to get off of this line and your life will never be the same again. It don't have nothing to do with me. It's because the, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the living God is speaking to your spirit this morning. No matter how stupid and dumb it sounds, no matter what it looks like, no matter what they told you wouldn't happen. They might have told you you were not the one. They were told you this don't happen in the city that you're in. God sent me to a new city to breathe a fresh wind on this city, on an area that is impoverished, impoverished. You go down and you see house. Boarded house, boarded house, house, boarded house, boarded house, house with people living in that don't have utilities. He sent me after all the hell that I've gone through in Panama City, after all the rejection, after all the hard times that me and my babies went through in Panama City. He said, now Michael may look like a bad thing. Somebody catch this in the spirit. Michael may look like a bad thing, but that's, you got to go. I, you got to go now. You learned what you needed to learn. You go. And your next lesson going to be at your next destination. Now, who was that for? I heard Sarah Jakes, who is one of my favorite speakers, because I don't know about y'all. I never really wanted to disclose this like this. I know some of my children on here, but baby, I, they already know their mama's past as they are age appropriate. I don't play. I don't lie because the same enemy that came for me coming for my kids. Did somebody hear that? The same enemy coming for you is coming for your kids. So you can't be hiding it, acting like it didn't happen, acting like you've been saved all your life. I don't know where that came from, but I know somebody needed because the spirit of the living God is speaking this morning. Y'all stay with me now. Stay with me. This ain't no pretty thing. This ain't pretty this morning. We're talking about changing. You have an opportunity. You're at a crossroads. You're at a fork in the road. What are you choosing this day? What are you going to do? Are you going to do the same thing and walk around in the wilderness? Are you going to step out on faith and do that thing that you haven't even seen done before? Are you going to do it? Are you ready? But back to Sarah Jakes. You know, I love listening to the word of God just to keep it in my spirit. You know, my worship, I try to just keep myself surrounded because my mind be doing all kind of crazy things. Y'all know how us creatives are. You know how the, prof the prophetic gift is. So, I begin to listen to her. And my kids can tell you, a day on her going to go by that they don't hear it in the house. And I'm amazed that God began to single this young woman out. I noticed when I started speaking, every single time I speak, God had me to mention something I gone through and it, or something I did wrong. I'm like, God, why is it always about me? See, there is that it used to be all about me. Now God need me to share some things to bless the people, but oh, I don't want to talk about it. And that girl got pregnant at 13 years old. Here's a transparent moment now. Like I said, my kids already know. The sister that you're looking at right now was already creeping out and uh, 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 doing things that ain't had no business at 13 years old. So her, her testimony began to resonate with me. And how she felt about herself and grew up in the church. God, I knew when to clap. I knew when to raise my hand. I knew when to turn around. I knew when to high five my neighbor. I knew to lay my offering at the feet of the pastor. And nothing changed. I went to every prayer line. Nothing changed. I found myself going back and back and back and back. 10 years, 15, 20, 30 years doing the same old thing. Playing church. But when this young woman began to tell her testimony, I'm like, that's me. I didn't get pregnant, but I could have. That's me. So I tell y'all, when it's somebody, when you just want to come back on, the, on, on here and check this out, it's because you can resonate with my testimony or whoever it is that's your favorite speaker. Or I know Dara's on here. She loves best more and she teaches with an amazing gift that's going to transform lives, that's transformed my life. I am in the word because that sister right there took time to answer questions. I'm telling you, when we got to understand, this, I'm going somewhere, we have to understand that when God changes us, and put us in another place. It is always, always, always for us to reach out to someone else. It's always for us to uh, be transparent and let somebody. I know your platform might not be Facebook. But there is somebody that he needs to hear your testimony. You will be strength for somebody else. Just like she's strength for me. And I'm strength for somebody else. And then you'll be strength. This thing should be like a wildfire. Craziness is going on. Devastation is going on. Our rights are being taken away. The world is changing 
religion as we know it. But as Christians, we should be catching on the spirit of helping one another, loving one another, sharing things, and showing people how you got over. It's one thing to get there, but let them see your struggle. I need y'all to know that it was very, very hard for me to get up and do this this morning. But now see the anointing. I can move my arms and stuff. Check this out. In this season, you're going to have to do things that you physically cannot do on your own. Catch it. I'm still in the flow. In this season that you're getting ready to step over into, you're going to have to do things that you don't feel like you can do, feel like you should do, and don't even really want to do sometimes. But it's a new season. you got to do something new, and I guarantee you, you're going to get some new results. So this morning, I encourage you, you got to do the work behind the scenes. God, what is it that is still inside of me that's keeping me from believing everything you said about me? God, what is it that causes me to go to the left when you say go right? Come on now, the season is changing. Are you ready to step into the season if you're stripped of people? If you're stripped of everything that you're familiar with. If you have a dream in front of you and it looks like everything contrary to that dream is happening. Are you still willing to say, I will go? God, I will jump over into this new season. I'm telling you, I encourage you, don't get caught going back into that. Don't get caught up with what you see. Don't get caught up with what you feel. Certainly don't get caught up with what they say in this season because the season is changing. Begin to pack up some things that don't belong in the season. Tell low self-esteem, not in this season. Tell anger, come on now, that's, that's me right there. Tell it, not in this season. Tell unforgiveness, not in this season. Tell it, it can't go with you. And some things that are inbred, that are even inherited, that are in our DNA, you still have the power of the spoken word. Remember last week? To speak to it and it shall flee. And when it go, don't let it come back in. But I'm going to tell you something about space. You can say science, aeroscience. If there is a space in your heart that's filled with something that shouldn't belong there, catch this, this is going to bless you. And God removes it. You must fill it with something else. So that same thing want to come back and take its rightful place. Because see, it thinks even though it's there illegally, it thinks it's belong there because it's been there so long. So if you are eliminating anger or doubt or mistrust or unforgiveness or whatever the case may be, depression, suicide, homicide, whatever the case may be, if you are eliminating that out of your life, you got to let Jesus fill it with something. Remember last week, fill my cup. You got to let him fill it with something else. So if you got low self-esteem, God, you, you, I'm asking you, I'm giving you permission to take it away and I need you to fill it with confidence. That space is filled and it can't come back. I pray that somebody is hearing this, it's resonating in your spirit and you're ready to step into the new season. Get rid of those sweaters. I'm, I'm sorry, get, rid, bring out, get ready to bring out the sweaters. You might have to put some of the tank tops away. I know it's still hot, but you've got to begin to transition. That's the word, transition. And see, sometimes, I know this happens to me, when you're thinking about change, all you see is stepping over an immediate change. But what if you decide that I'm going to transition into this thing? Every day, I'm going to work a little bit harder to get to where I need to get. Every day, I'm going to lay something at the foot of Jesus. Every day, I'm going to pack something away. Every day, I'm going to delete somebody's phone number. Every day, I'm going to stop talking to this one or or stop talking about this one. Stop using my lips uh, to speak things that are against the word of God. Stop using my lips to work against me. Every day, if you do a little bit, preparing for the change, preparing for this new season, by the time it happens, you be ready. I declare and decree it. I believe it with everything that is in me. The season is changing and from today forward, we will be ready to step into that season. Ready for that change. Making the necessary adjustments within our minds, within our spirits, within our bodies. Come on now. For those of us battling with weight, 
We, if we can take our mind off what the clothes gonna look like, if we can take our mind off the what we, you know, the man or the woman or whatever the case may be that that we're uh, wanting to lose the weight and realize that I need to lose the weight to be effective in the kingdom of God. I need to lose the weight so that my children won't be taking care of me and flipping me over like my six hundred pound life because I hurt myself. Come on now, we're keeping it real. Lay aside every weight. And that means in our minds, in our bodies, and in our spirit. So we can be prepared for the next season. We can travel. We can be light on our feet. We can dance before the Lord. And we can be an example for those who are hopeless in this new season. I love you all. I am amazed at what God is doing. I wouldn't trade nothing for this journey. The good, the bad, the ugly, the ups, the downs, the hurts, the pains, the disappointment, rejection. It is all working for your good. Because you are called, you are chosen, you are anointed, and it is your time to make up your mind and get ready to step into this next season. If anybody needs prayer before we get off of here, we're going to do this. If not, we're going to roll it right along and begin to enjoy the rest of our day in Jesus' name. I know there's a lag, and last week I missed somebody, so I'm going to wait just a minute here. Mm -mm. I'm going to wait just a minute here, and then uh, if there are no requests, we're going to end this thing out. We're going to end it in, in the name of Jesus. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Uh, every day with Jesus is just better than the day before. And I want those to know that have to walk away from some people in this season. You can ask God to send you some people that are supposed to be a part of your life. Some people that's going to hold you accountable. Some people that's going to pull you up and not always pulling on you. It's time for you to upgrade your circle and get into a place that make you uncomfortable, that you don't fit in, that you don't even belong in, but God. You don't even belong in, but his favor is upon you. That's the only way you're going to grow. That's the only way you're going to be able to uh, just truly, 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 truly be who God created you to be because you have a message. You have a message, a life-changing message. You have a message. That somebody else needs to hear. I love you all. Again, I thank you for stopping by. Whether it's for one minute or the entire live. Or if you're going to see the live later on. I speak blessings upon you and your family. I speak blessings upon you as you prepare to step into your new season. The season is changing. And you want to change with it. To God be the glory for the things that he has done. He is doing and he will do in all of our lives. Father, we thank you again. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your favor. God, we thank you that all of our ears have been attentive, attentive to your word, God, that we're going to apply it to our hearts and to our lives and prepare for the change, Lord, preparing for the season, the changing of the guards. We're preparing in Jesus' name to all of you. Be encouraged. Um, I want to talk real quickly. I forgot. I always forget to plug my own things, but we're getting ready for the end of driveway um, t-shirts and I have my first shirt that I am. Um, it's that fire for my beautiful church in Panama City, Florida. The creator of this church, uh, this shirt is Apostle Katrina Garrett who is absolutely amazing and creative in anything that you need done. She's in the Ray Dunn stuff. She does everything. I can't even count it all. House decor, t-shirts, photographs. She is just one of the most uh, creative people that I absolutely know. And if you know somebody who creates shirts, all you got to do is send me one and I will guarantee, I will plug it. I will, I will, um... Uh, let everybody, you know, free advertisement because I believe we should help one another. But um, in this season, we're doing something different. I'm preparing for change. I don't like asking for money. I don't like doing anything for money, but money is going to make the ministry. I can't do th certain things without money. So I gladly say, and I humbly say, you got a t-shirt, you know a creator, somebody sent it to me. I wear it on here. I will also mention it um, throughout the week. And um, we're just helping each other as we grow. And, and God, something I do with my hands all the time, and I don't realize it, but the Lord just dropped it in my spirit because these hands were made to create. Our hands were made to create. We want multiple streams of income coming in as God reveals and perfect our gift. So in the name of Jesus, again, this is in um, this shirt was created by Apostle Katrina Garrett in Panama City, Florida. She is on Facebook. If you want to um, reach out to her, like I said, she has home decor. She paints. 
She does photographs. She does the radon. She does makeovers, interior design. There's just like nothing this woman can't do. So uh, if that's something that you're looking for, she is the one to call on. Very professional. And she is absolutely the one that will be doing the In the Driveway t-shirts. They are $20. Hash, um, um, cash app sign the dollar sign no more broken pieces if you want your shirt i need your size and i will need an address and things like that and i'll get it to you as soon as possible they'll be ready in a few weeks so give me a little time but i'm taking pre-orders i love you god bless you tomorrow night we will have uh the prayer and i know god is going to have me doing the prayer live but i don't want to jump too soon but i will put up uh if you have a request you can put it up there for me to pray or um you can message me and I'll do it. I don't talk about anybody's request. I'm all out here isolated. I don't, I don't do that. I'm just here on assignment. It's my honor and privilege to pray for you. So if that's what you need at any time, you don't have to wait till Tuesday. Just uh, send me, inbox me, message me, or tell me, and I'll be glad to do it. Because that's what I do. It helps to keep me grounded. It helps to keep me focused. I love you all. Be encouraged, but most of all, allow the God of all creation, who is your Father, come on, son, to make you whole. And I'm praying that next week I may have permission by my children, no, but I may feel better and be able to at least sit in the car if I'm not driving anywhere. In the driveway, I love you guys. God bless you. Have an awesome day. Hey, for your encouraging word with Ramonda Moore. That's me. God's been good to me. Mm -hmm.